Jeez, I've been feeling like I want to say something this whole time, but the editing version of me is like, Greta, no, be silent. Let the morning montage do its thing. Let people get situated in the video, but I'm just wanting to say like, hey, good morning, what's up? Hey, good morning, what's up, how's it going? uh yeah this video is long overdue i've been wanting to film this video for a on. but we are doing it today my name is greta and i am a ux designer i'm pretty new in the field so i'm learning as i go it's been incredible i can make a whole video about my career transition because that was that was a time since we are in quarantine I want to show you what I've been doing, what it's like, what does my day usually consist of because not a lot of people know what a UX designer or what UX design is in general. I would explain it in terms of communication. So a UX designer is someone who creates a conversation between a product that they design and a user. A user, you're a user because you're someone who uses um, technology, you use mobile apps, you use your cell phone, you use different things like YouTube, you use things. So essentially we design products, um, specifically I design digital products, there are product designers who design like physical products like a coffee machine, those are product designers. I focus more on like the digital side, so that's like mobile apps, uh, websites, um, just digital experiences. A mobile app is a digital experience. It's not just a creative field, it's also a very analytical and like research-based field, but there's also people who specialize, so there's people who just do UX research. Uh, and there's people who do just UX design or user interface design, which is like the creative things, but of course it needs to be backed up by that research, you know what I'm saying? Specifically, I work in a tiny little, teeny tiny little, little tiny little startup here in Atlanta. Um, the great thing about a startup life is that it's really cash. Uh, people are more flexible, I feel like, and you have more power, you have more creative power because you're not designing, you're, you're kind of designing from scratch or from not a lot uh, with a startup. And if you work in a large corporation, usually you have to do the way things, do things the way they've been done for years and years and years and years. Okay. My day usually starts at 10. We have this thing called stand up, which essentially means that, which is actually something that I love. It's very common in like technology teams, product development teams. Um, so essentially in the morning, we all meet virtually, of course, and we just say what we did yesterday, what we're gonna do today, 
And do we have any roadblocks? Like anything that's blocking us from getting our job done. If we need help. Uh, yeah. So let's make breakfast. I am so hungry. the zoom link because I don't want to be late we are going to meet up for stand-up okay so hey guys so that was that uh, that was my meeting uh, it was pretty good I have a lot to do today so essentially to give you a brief overview of what I'm working on. So we're basically creating a new uh, digital experience. I worked all last week on uh, creating and designing these wireframes. So wireframes in UX design, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's essentially a very skeletal... It's like the skeletal version of a website, of an app, or the product that you're building. Let me show you what I'm talking about instead of telling you. I'll show you one from like a really old uh, school project that I did. So it's not like the, obviously it's not the official, what the official app is gonna look like, what the official website is gonna look like, but it's like almost, think of it as a sketch. This is a wireframe, it's like a basic, it's like the skeletal version of what an app is going to look like or what a website is going to look like. Now, what we're doing is that we are doing a lot of research. So after I design all of these wireframes for this new digital experience that we're building, I need to test it. I need to test it because we don't want to put out a product into the real world that sucks, right? Because that just makes sense. You don't want to put out something that is really bad and then people are gonna judge you and kind of not trust your company anymore because they're like, oh yeah, that company is the company that had that really bad app or that really crappy website. You don't wanna be known for that, right? So you wanna test things before you put them out in the real world. So essentially I design like an entire test plan. So there, it's called usability testing. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day because I am testing a bunch of customers that have already ordered from us before. So I'm testing with them virtually tomorrow. I'm testing like four people, which is gonna be a lot because each test is like 45 minutes to an hour. So you can imagine. So that's what I'm preparing for today. And at 11, it's like 10 and 15 now. At 11, I'm meeting with this UX researcher. So she just does use UX research. So she's gonna help me and go through my usability test plan because it's like a really complicated document that I had to put together. And she's gonna go through it with me and give me suggestions. And so that way tomorrow, my... Uh, day does not crumble and fall and catch on fire, you know, so I got to prepare for that meeting I think I'm gonna go make a coffee. You guys are probably thinking like girl You literally just sat down to do work and now you're getting back up to get something else to eat Um, I lied uh, Someone sent me a message <laughs> that happens a lot Sometimes I'll be like downstairs in my kitchen and I'm just like chilling just making a snack or whatever and someone messaged me on slack and they're like hey I need you right now so I have to create this survey and I need to send it to someone else on our team so they can post it so essentially we have like more than enough people that signed up to be a participant in our usability test so I need to close the link I'm gonna create the survey so that they can sign up for future testing so if they want to be considered for like future testing because we're gonna be doing a lot of these in the future and they can sign up. The survey is sent. One thing done. 
out of so many things, but I have like 15 minutes before I have my meeting with the UX researcher at 11. So I'm going to run downstairs, make a quick coffee and then come back up. I need some caffeination, okay? So if you're wondering, real quick before I hop on that call at 11, uh, if you're wondering what my workspace looks like, this is what it looks like. So something very important as UX designers is that we need a lot of desk space. As in like not desk space, like working wise, I guess that, that's also important, like your desk, but like desktop space, I guess that's what I should say. Oh, wait, one more thing I'm gonna mention uh, as I'm pulling up these documents that I need for my meeting is that I love my iPad. Literally, I am such a technology ho. I'm like freaking out that I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna be late. Um, but I love this, uh, the Apple Pencil Exquisite. Uh, it's 11 o'clock, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Something that is really nice about the role of UX design or like the world of UX design is that it's so collaborative. It's a really people focused career and I really like that, especially if you're someone who doesn't do well just like working on your own all day long. I do well, I mean I do well working on my own, but I really like having the chance to like to debrief with someone or ask someone, hey, what do you think about this? Or do you think this is a terrible idea? Should I not do this? So it's really nice. I'm gonna iterate or just like change a little bit um, my test plan based off of our meeting that I had with the researcher. And then I need to start working on some designs. So yeah, I hope this makes sense. I hope I'm not talking too much. I wanna be as like transparent as possible, but it's really hard when you can't technically show what you're working on because it is you know there's like company sensitive information that you can't really show so I can't really show you what I'm working on but if you want to get a better sense of the things that UX designers and product designers create you can look at people's portfolios that's a great way for you to see uh, look at case studies so essentially like the start to not always the finished product but to where it is today at the moment uh, of a product that a UX designer or a develop not, not a developer, well they also have case studies, but a UX designer or product designer uh, created. So you see like their entire process and then they, they explain everything. So you should look at different people's portfolios. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna probably go eat lunch now. We use Slack a lot. Did I mention that already? I'm not sure. Um, Yes, because we're remote, we use Slack a lot. Slack is amazing. It's just like a, it's basically a management tool. I made an executive decision that I'm going to lunch. <laughs> Another hard thing about working in a startup is that it's very easy for you to work, to overwork yourself. I find myself working at like 9 p.m. at night, 10 p.m. at night, um, and it's really out of my choice. It's not really necessity exactly, but it's just because if I honestly didn't get to everything that I really wanted to get to that day, then I don't want my next day to suffer, which I'm still working on my work-life balance, you know? Going to lunch, yard.
lunch and it is officially the second half of the day because that meeting lasted so long now I'm just like uh, but it started raining it's kind of like it's kind of cozy I really like it of a very low fidelity wireframes so they're like have no color they're literally just like the skeletal frame just like I showed you now we're in the process of kind of making sure the flow makes sense but tomorrow is when we have that huge usability testing thing and we're gonna really find out if what I created makes any sense to the user to the person who's gonna be using our product basically now what I'm doing is just like taking the information that my manager talked to me about and I am implementing like those changes he suggested and building out those wireframes on this tool that I use a lot. It's called a uh, sketch. asleep basically I wanted to give you a very broad overview of what the life is like a day in the life of a UX designer product designer in quarantine I know I was looking these up all the time when I was interested in UX so I hope this is helpful please let me know if you got excited about UX if you have any questions let me know I will answer you in the comments or DM me on Instagram on the gram, I love to be friends. Every day is very different, but this was a very good example of what it's been like lately. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me during the day. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some entertainment and now you know what UX kind of is. I hope I did an okay job of explaining. I could have done better. I'll see you somewhere else on the internet very soon. Bye.